Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a very exciting episode because it is my one year anniversary on YouTube. That's right, one year ago today, I was like, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna share with you real numbers that I got from YouTube. They sent me a wonderful little anniversary email with all my likes and views and all of that stuff. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'd like to achieve in this next year. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. With that all said, let's get started. YouTube emailed me my year in review or your, your year snapshot, uh, which I wasn't expecting. So that was kind of fun to look through this. And I did update it a little bit because a lot has changed in the last couple of weeks since they sent this to me. But uh, let's just jump right in and go over the numbers, shall we? Your year snapshot in review. Total views, 122,000 views. That's amazing. Granted, a lot of that is from shorts. I just recently discovered the whole shorts thing on YouTube. I'm having so much fun with it. If you guys haven't seen any of my shorts, go ahead and check those out under the shorts tab. I've been having a lot of fun in different ways of quickly showing uh, my paintings. So I'm getting closer to that monetization mark, which I'm really excited about. And I just wanna take a second and thank all of you who have subscribed and have gotten me this far. Um, which brings me into my next uh, number, which is subscribers. I have over 840 right now, so you just need that thousand to hit the uh, uh, monetization mark. So really excited. Thank you all 840-ish of you subscribers out there for that. Total likes, again, this is off. So at the time this came out, it was about 7,000. I've gotten more than that, so I don't really know what the number is right now. Uh, the next one is month with the most views is November, and that's when I started figuring out the shorts videos. Top viewed videos of the year, Portrait for a Friend. That's the one where I did the portrait for my friend Christian down in LA. Um, she's a lash artist, and she wanted a portrait of herself to go into her studio, and she was very specific on what she wanted. So obviously a portrait of herself, but she wanted it to be sort of tropical themed and lots of blues and greens and some gold. And so I created a really gorgeous painting of her using metallic gold. I think it turned out beautiful. Just one of my favorites, I think, from the year. Uh, the second most watched video is Welcome Co-host Georgia. So on occasion I do have co-host usually my niece comes on and we'll do fun art projects together so those have been a lot of fun I've created a separate kids section in my channel as well where you could check out all the kids specific videos so I make sure that they're very friendly for the kids so there's no bad language whatsoever uh, and they're easy projects that that children of very young ages can do uh, community is growing. Countries where your channel is being viewed. Obviously, mostly it's the United States, uh, followed by Brazil and Indonesia and Mexico, I believe I wrote on here too, which is awesome. I love that. Um, I'd like to diversify a little bit. There's not anybody in the rest of the world represented, but it is what it is. Okay, so that's basically the numbers, mostly, of what YouTube sent me. Uh, I also wanna take a minute to tell you a little bit about my journey. Uh, first of all, I've created more paintings this year than I think I ever have. I'm well over 100. I'm pushing the 200 mark of paintings created because a lot of the episodes on my channel are demonstrations, so that's why they're kind of small. They're eight by eights or eight by 10 size. Um, and I do various things to just kind of show you guys what you can do with your acrylics, right? And sometimes I'll throw different mediums in there as well. But so I've done so many of those because of that. And it's just been really fun to kind of diversify a little bit and revisit projects and styles that I haven't in a really long time. And I also got to do some new stuff too. Uh, the last video I just filmed was something totally new for me, so make sure you guys check that out. It's uh, Draw Yourself as an Anime Character. I'm not an anime artist, so that was definitely a challenge. Uh, and I loved every minute of it. But that brings me to my next thing I wanted to talk about. What I'd like to do more on this channel for the upcoming year. So I would love to do more art challenges. I've only I mean, I guess I've done one and that was the anime thing. It wasn't so much even a challenge. It was just a simple request. Hey, can you, can you do yourself as an anime character? I was like, sure. 
And I loved it, but for me specifically, that was a challenge. So I'd like to dive into more challenges. I know there's a lot of art challenges out there that people have been doing. I've actually um, have my little art journal here and I've been writing down everything this last year, including ideas for art challenges. So they're in here and I'm definitely gonna be doing more challenges this year. So another thing I started this year was the art journal. So instead of a sketchbook, obviously I can sketch in here if I want, but this thing is filled with ideas that I have had throughout this year, not just for my channel specifically and YouTube, and analytics and all that stuff that you need to take notes on and how to promote your channel, whatever. No, this is also full of other ideas that I've had for paintings and styles and things that I can try out. I mean, I have hundreds and hundreds. So this is wonderful. I'm never gonna run out of ideas and I definitely wanna focus on these this upcoming year. So I've got lots of ideas. Obviously there's gonna be more tutorials, um, but I'd like to do other things too, like a live stream, an actual sit down, no editing live stream thing. I'd like to do more paint alongs. I did one, I'll link that down below. It was fantastic, loved it so much. I'd also like to focus a little bit more on my art, uh, build up my portfolio again with uh, pieces that I want to show at galleries. So not just things that I think you guys would enjoy watching, but things that I would enjoy making. Really this channel, I wanted to launch it because I wanted to to bring joy to other people, to, to let them know, hey, look at all these ways that you can make art and it's actually quite easy. You know, art's a lot of fun and I just wanted to share the joy of art with all of you guys. And so hopefully there's a lot of you out there who are getting some inspiration from this channel and who are learning some things and, or if you're just, you know, enjoying watching me paint, then fantastic, I love that too. So I wanna go over a few things that I took notes of to share with you guys. I wanted to mention what I've learned this last year by launching a YouTube channel. Um, obviously, I learned how to make videos. I've, I've never done that before. I never took film in high school. That was very a popular course, but I, I never took it. So I didn't really know what I was doing. And so you could look back at my earliest videos and they're just, they're not very good. And I've been slowly getting better, um, but there's still a lot more room for improvement. And there's other areas I'd, I'd like to continue to grow, um, not just editing, but I'd like to improve my equipment. I've been using my cell phone for this whole time all these videos are on my cell phone and I edit with a free app on my cell phone. So I'd like to get like a real PC or something that can first of all hold the storage and also have a real video editing program would be wonderful. I think uh, a camera would be great. Maybe some better lighting and a microphone. Cause I noticed my videos are a little quiet and I have to turn up the volume. So uh, what has YouTube taught me or how has it changed me? Well, uh, it's definitely made me more aware of myself, of my body language and my vocabulary. There was an episode where I said fantastic like 20 times and I'm sure I've said it at least three or four times now. Um, and it's, it's kind of just made me more aware of how other people would view me, which is really not how I viewed myself. So that was quite eye opening how I'm like, wow, that's not how I look at myself, but now I can see how other people would look at me and it's kind of weird in a way. I feel like I'm, first of all, I look very, very young on film and I sound very young and I also sound like I'm from California. So that was all just kind of eye opening and weird to me, but uh, it's been a really interesting and kind of bizarre experience starting a YouTube channel and watching yourself, but I have enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. It's been a lot of fun, uh, but other ways it's changed me. It's made me a better artist. It's made me a better teacher. This was really interesting to me because I had to take a moment to think about what I'm saying. So when you're painting, you kind of get in the zone, you just let your hands just kind of take over and do whatever it is they do. And you know, you, your mind obviously knows what it's doing, but to vocalize what you're doing, that was kind of interesting to me. So I had to take a moment and think about how I'm holding my brush, what exactly it is I'm doing um, to, to better communicate with you guys so you understand what I'm doing. So it made me slow down a little bit in the process and just kind of think about what I'm doing. So I, I became a little bit better with uh, verbalizing my actions, which has made me, I think, a better teacher at the school. So I'm better able to communicate with the children um, and then also the paint parties with the adults, what I am doing and so that they can do the same thing. So um, yeah, YouTube's made me a better artist and 
a better teacher. And it's made me a better artist because I got to revisit, like I had mentioned earlier, a lot of art that I haven't done in years, a lot of styles, some mediums. Um, I'm just having a lot of fun again. And I'm doing things I, I don't think I would have normally have done, which is great. So the whole YouTube experience has been really wonderful. And I recommend you guys out there, if you haven't, at least, at least try it out a little bit. Film yourself, watch yourself. You'll get to see yourself in ways that you didn't before. And you'll get to see your art in ways that you didn't before. And it's just been really great. So I wanted to, again, thank all of my subscribers out there. I'm really looking forward to this new year. So with that all said, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I'm gonna to continue to work on my art and my videos and just have a lot of fun on YouTube. And hopefully you guys will stick around for the upcoming videos this year. And with that all said, everyone, I'll see you next week.